Dear viewers and subscriber, thanks again to watch our YouTube channel Max the Service. Max Service is the only YouTube channel to take care of providing videos with proper information like documentation, architecture discussions, and working with practical examples for beginners and experts to learn by watching videos on Max the Service YouTube channel and start leading in the industry. Okay guys, in last session we have briefly uh, introduce what is Docker, why it is popular, traditional and uh, new approaches for deployment and uh, management, uh, virtualization, its importance, benefits, alternative of Docker, use cases, features, everything we have discussed almost about Docker. So today we will be starting with Docker architecture. So let's start uh, what are the components and how architecture works when we work with docker guys let's start with docker architecture and everybody know that docker makes use of client server architecture the docker client talks with the docker daemon which help in building running and distributing the docker containers so docker client runs with the daemon on the same system or we can connect the docker client with the docker daemon remotely as well with the rest of, uh, uh, we can also use REST API, uh, over as Unix socket or a network. So, so the Docker client and Diamond interact with each other. So, uh, to start with the dark Docker architecture, we will be discussing uh, one by one. Here you can see we have uh, first client, then we have uh, Docker host, and we have registry. These are the main uh, parts of Docker architecture. So we will be discussing uh, one by one. So first we need to discuss what is Docker client, okay? Actually, with the help of Docker client, uh, Docker users uh, can interact with the, the Docker itself, Docker host. Uh, the Docker command uses a Docker API. The Docker client can communicate with multiple diamonds. Uh, let's suppose there are uh, one we have uh, remote API, one we have a CLI, or one we have uh, uh, desktop, Docker desktop. Then every client will create uh, its own diamond thread and will start communicating. Okay. When the Docker client run any Docker diamond on the Docker uh, terminal, okay, then the terminal sends instruction, okay? Send instruction to Docker diamond, okay? The Docker diamond gets, uh, Docker diamond uh, gets these instruction from the Docker client uh, with inside uh, the shape of the command and uh, REST API request, okay? So furthermore, Docker diamond ex uh, it, uh, work uh, as per uh, instruction or commands run, run from command, uh, client, from CLI or remote API or uh, even Docker desktop, whatever, uh, what client we are using. So the main objective of Docker client, uh, okay, to provide the way direct pull images from the Docker registry. Guys, this is very important to understand. Uh, within the Docker client, you can directly ask the Docker diamond, okay, let me uh, download uh, any image already provided on the Docker Hub. Actually, Docker registry also called Docker Hub. Uh, instead of uh, I uh, uh, go for building and uh, executing another command to build an image and then I can run uh, that image as a container. So because on Docker Hub, on registry, there is an already uh, image available. So let me pull and execute as a container. Let's suppose I'm running my application and instead of downloading and making an image of Redis, then I can directly execute command uh, and ask Docker Diamond to please pull, let me pull the uh, Redis and then uh, start uh, as a container. Okay, here you can see a request uh, made to uh, 
uh, this SQL, okay? And uh, th then uh, here is, it is downloaded at image, and here you can see it is running as a container, okay? So three steps. One is uh, running command, okay? Uh, to pull, then uh, this uh, uh, SQL uh, uh, database will be downloaded as an image, so step two, and then you can run this image as a container, here is step three. It is simple. So it is the basic purpose of uh, uh, Docker client. Okay, then we have Docker Diamond, okay? What is the purpose of Docker Diamond? Docker Diamond manages all the services by communicating with other diamonds. Okay, let's suppose uh, we can ask Docker Diamond to pull the image, to run the image, to uh, execute the commands in the uh, Docker file, uh, whatever configuration we have provided in the Docker file, which is built in, in the image. Actually, all the commands provided in Docker file executes and uh, image accordingly run as and uh, available as a container okay so it manages uh, actually docker diamond manages uh, objects such as images okay containers okay networks networks mean if uh, you you want to communicate uh, between these containers if you want to communicate um, uh, uh, this container with out outside of another host if there is another host, okay, okay, okay. So if there is another host and uh, another container is running, so then uh, networks object will help us to interact with the, we can set some IP configuration, blacklisting, whitelisting, and O port open available to interact with other container within another host. This host might be running another operating system, might be remote or might be on uh, cloud. So then if this host is on premises and another is on cloud, so your network will become work as a hybrid. So uh, then other is itself what is docker host okay this part is docker host a docker host is a type of machine it may, might be operating system uh, we are docker when we uh, install and run docker engine it becomes a host actually we virtually uh, virtually distribute our uh, operating system we can uh, uh, run docker engine and then we can uh, further virtualize it. We have covered in previous session this concept, which is virtualization uh, and difference between virtual machine and containerization. Okay, so all the Docker images, uh, sorry, uh, first let me finish this uh, Docker host, okay. A Docker is, is, is a type of machine that is responsible for running more than one container. Here you can see we have more than one container running within a host. It comprises the Docker diamond. Yes, it includes Docker diamond. Images, yes. Containers, networks, and storage. Simple. Another one is Docker registry. Okay, this one is Docker registry. We can also call, uh, we can say Docker hub as well. All the Docker images are stored in the Docker registry. You can park your images in Docker hub or Docker registry uh, in private manners, uh, but it is publicly available to everyone. Whatever the images provided by Docker available, you can download and start working with those, okay? So when we can run uh, our private registry also uh, with the help of docker run or docker pull commands, we can pull the required images from uh, configured registry. Images are pushed into the configured registry uh, with the help of docker push command. You can also uh, build and then you can also push uh, your images on 
uh, here you can see the arrow blue uh, you you build first then you push this image which is here to here you build application image then you push it into docker host and docker uh, you uh, when you com run command docker push and docker diamond responsibly to uh, work accordingly and push this uh, image placed on docker host on registry so that you can download later on you can also uh, uh, save your number of images with versioning so later on you can uh, utilize you can also save as a backup so uh, if we uh, dig into more detail then we also have uh, docker objects uh, whenever we are using docker we are creating and using images containers volume network and other objects now we are going to discuss docker objects so what is docker images and images contain instruction okay here is the file which contains instruction of an image okay and it is just read only template uh, actually when you uh, 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 write instruction in docker file it becomes a template where uh, image can read and uh, uh, work accordingly it is used to store and ship applications uh, images are an important part of docker experience as they enable collaboration between developers in any way which is not possible earlier you can directly communicate and can uh, accord, configure your images and instead of uh, building and then uh, deploying okay docker containers docker containers are created from docker images we have discussed as they are ready application with the help of docker api cli we can start stop delete and move containers okay directly if uh, you have uh, your image placed uh, in the host you can also directly execute command to delete or uh, stop whatever action you can perform with the container so that later on you can also instead of deleting build uh, sorry deleting image okay you can uh, also delete container and uh, uh, you can again build container from the image also available or host or on registry so what is docker storage uh, docker storage actually is the um, same as uh, let me show you yeah here is here is your container and uh, uh, the, there is different type of storage like uh, data volume uh, volume container directory mounts uh, storage uh, uh, plugins uh, okay you can also refer uh, with the storage plugin you can also uh, store your data uh, from the container uh, externally and you can also specify you can also mount your file system okay uh, once container deleted uh, i can store the data reproduced by container within a file so another container uh, can share this information as well and also we can also use docker area uh, where we can uh, share between different uh, containers as well so then we have uh, docker networking okay uh, it is simple also we have different type of uh, docker networks uh, one is bridge uh, actually it enables it is default network we can use this when different containers communicate with same docker host now let's suppose we have two containers here uh, one is this and uh, second is this it's a database container and it's a redis container if we uh, <coughs> we can uh, if we want to communicate make the communicate cache between these two containers then we will be using uh, bridge network type so second is host when you don't need to uh, when you uh, we don't need any isolation between the container and host then it is used actually i don't want to uh, isolate 
uh, this container uh, so that another from the host uh, nobody can interact with it 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 will be uh, running standalone so i will use host network type so third is overlay for communication with each, each other it will enable swan server here you can see it is overlay if uh, your containers are in different um, con uh, host then to make the communication uh, to make the communication you will be uh, setting overlay network type uh, you can also disable by setting property to none and uh, you can also use mac vlan this network assigns uh, mac uh, address to containers which look like physical address okay so guys uh, for today it was uh, great discussion uh, with the architecture and its component how the architecture works and uh, how the things when a developer do with the architecture how the things uh, uh, works okay so we ha i have explained you very clearly uh, you are allowed to uh, please uh, set comments for me if uh, i am missing i am not uh, delivering as expected then i can improve myself so that you can uh, avail more knowledge uh, regarding any session any technology or video so i would request to subscribe and share uh, this video among your uh, within your circle um, so that rest of uh, members which are not uh, have access to channel or not sub subscribe to my channel can avail the uh, can avail the uh, this information they can learn and earn uh, so uh, uh, in next session we will be discussing uh, installation and configuration which is uh, most of the practical session and which is which will be very important uh, section so let's uh, uh, connect with another session on installation and configuration of docker thank you